This is without a doubt one of the coolest looking electric pickup trucks I've ever seen. And it's gonna be real and probably quite affordable and available in many countries around the world, including Australia, New Zealand, pretty much anywhere you can buy LDV vehicles right now. What are your thoughts on the design of this? Let me know in the comments. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much for supporting me at the moment. It has been a pretty tough year, you know, finding out about the diagnosis and everything else. Yeah, I'm not going to say any more about that, but I'll put a link in the description below if you're not aware. If you're new to the channel, there's been, I think, 8,500 new subscribers, maybe 9,000 now over the last few weeks. If you're new to the channel, I'll put a link in the description below to my GoFundMe campaign. And, you know, don't, not asking you to donate, but you can see what I'm talking about. This new LDV electric pickup truck looks, to me, absolutely awesome. Now, LDV already have an electric pickup truck that you can currently buy now, today, in Australia, in a few different countries around the world. It's expensive. It's about 90,000 Australian dollars, which is around about 60,000 US dollars. And it's not really that good. I mean, hey, you know, it's better than nothing. I mean, I'll put it that way. But what it is, it's a normal LDV pickup truck, a gasoline powered one that they've converted. So the battery pack is on the bottom. You can kind of see it's an exposed battery pack. It's not really one of the better conversions for the price. I don't, I definitely don't recommend it. But hey, massive kudos to LDV. I love the LDV distribution network here in Australia. They do a great job. The people involved are great people to talk to and to deal with. And they don't pay me anything for saying this, but that's just the truth. And they're really committed to selling EVs in Australia. They're doing a, a phenomenal job to try and get electrification into this segment of pickup trucks. I believe this LDV electric pickup truck will be available within about 24 months, maybe less, but around about that time frame. So if you're thinking of getting a new pickup truck or a new gasoline power truck because there's nothing electric you can buy right now, be patient because this is coming. So is BYD's new electric pickup truck. And there'll be a couple of others as well. I'll have videos about them very soon. So this is the concept version. Will it look like this in real life? I actually think it will. I think it's going to look identical to this. The reason being, normally when LDV reveal their vehicles in concept form, they look exactly the same when they actually become a real car. More than likely, this is the vehicle that you'll be able to buy. It looks to me very similar on the side profile to a Rivian R1T, and the front looks more like a Ford F-150. Whatever the case, I mean, yeah, sure, there's some similar design cues, but hey, I mean, pickup trucks, they're all pretty generic looking. In my opinion, this is one of the best looking ones I've ever seen. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. In China, this vehicle is badged as a Maxus. However, it will be known over in overseas markets as an LDV. It has 746 kilowatt. That's 1,000 horsepower. This thing is ridiculously overpowered. Boy, would it be fun. Imagine having a, a pickup truck, an electric one with 1,000 horsepower. The brand says it has 14,000 newton meters of torque from its four electric motors. So it's got one motor for every wheel. But obviously, LDV are following a trend set by the GMC Hummer EV and the Rivian R1 T by quoting torque at the wheel, which is a bit different to, you know, actual normal torque that we quote with cars. Real world torque is probably going to be closer to something like 2000 newton meters, which is still ridiculous still miles more than any, including the Cummins diesel 6.7 liter engines that are in some of the American pickups. It's still way more torque than what they have, and they lead the industry. So amazingly, this vehicle is going to be clearly much smaller and lighter than a Hummer electric pickup, but it's got the same power, and it matches the Rivian R1T for torque. It's said to have a driving range of 1,000 kilometers on a charge. 1,000 kilometers. Now, most likely it will be using CATL's new structural battery packs, the Kirin battery, which has ultra high energy density. But that said, it could be using CATL's new 500 watt per kilo energy density batteries called condenser batteries. Now, those condenser batteries, if it's using those batteries, this could actually be lighter, seriously with a thousand kilometers of range or with 600 miles of range, this could actually be lighter than a Ford F-150. And I'm talking the gasoline version. It could be lighter than a Ford Ranger. 
I'm talking the gasoline version, of course, the petrol version, it could be lighter because those batteries with 500 watt per kilo energy density mean you could probably put a battery of only 100 kilowatt hours or maybe even less than that in this truck, in this ute, to give it 600 miles of range. 500 watt per kilo energy density, that's about double the energy density of today's battery. So it's very possible that you'll see that. Now, if you combine that with a structural battery pack, that'll reduce the weight. This is the future of electric trucks and it just it just poos all over gasoline or diesel powered trucks. This thing will be amazing. This is what I'm trying to tell people. You know what guys, just be patient and wait because we're gonna see range of electric vehicles of electric trucks be just massive, a thousand kilometers. So if you wanna to tow with this, what, you get maybe 500 kilometers, 300 miles in when you're towing, that's better than most gasoline petrol powered pickup trucks today. That interior, will it look like that? I'm gonna guess that steering wheel is not gonna go in the real world version. The screen though, on the other hand, definitely will. This is sort of the future. I'm not sure people like these sort of massive screens, but this is the future of electric cars, of cars in general. Let me know what you think of those big screens, by the way. The steering wheel actually looks a bit like some of the steering wheels we've seen in Toyota and Lexus cars recently. What else can it do? Well, it can do a tank turn, which is a 360 degree turn on the spot. Only electric vehicles can do that. Obviously petrol powered, gasoline powered, diesel powered vehicles can't do that. Plus it has an 11 kilowatt vehicle to load system, V2L, which you can use to plug in appliances, drills, um, pumps, laptops, camping equipment, anything. It's this, the future of electric, of electric pickups is so exciting for camping and for all kinds of things for work. There's so many things that it's gonna be so, so useful for. It also has a mid gate. I love this idea. The barrier that separates the tub and the cabin. Basically what that means is you have the ability to turn it to some degree into a much longer vehicle. So if you wanna carry stuff, say surfboards, um, planks of wood, plaster sheets, whatever it is. You can do what General Motors are doing with the Silverado. Put that mid gate down. So push the window and the gate, separating the tub and the rear seats down, then giving you essentially sort of an SUV to some degree, but also the ability to put in much longer things. This is one of my favorite features. Apparently the Cybertruck will have this feature too. People requested it and Elon said, yeah, we're gonna have it. Don't know if that's a definite though. But this is an awesome feature. I think every single pickup truck should have this. Every single ute should have this. I don't understand why they don't. Imagine how great it would be to have that feature for camping, for fishing, or just attending a tailgate party. It'd be awesome. Now the LDV GST, it's called the GST by the way, not goods and services tax, but just GST, was shown in concept form at the Shanghai Motor Show less than six months after the LDV T60 electric pickup went on sale in Australia. So when is it coming out? Well, interestingly, LDV Australia General Manager Dinesh Chinappa said an as yet unnamed successor is due in showrooms in the second half of 2024, with input coming from Australia helping to shape what it will look like. This is it. This is the car he's talking about. So it's due in showrooms in 2024. Wait till 2024. You'll have a choice of BYD's ute pickup, and you'll have a choice of this. Rivian said they want to sell their AVs in Australia as well. That's three different vehicles. Pretty exciting. We started working with SMCV, parent company, SAIC Motors Commercial Vehicle Division on a totally new model pickup. A year and a half to two years ago, the CEO told Drive in November of 2022. So they're saying, basically they started working on this back in 2020. They wrote to us and said, we want to design a new pickup. We would like you to tell us if you were designing a ute, what would be the things you would want? And as we prepared a major paper for them and we took out a time, months work of time went into it, then we submitted a document to SMCV. Ever since that document has gone, every time there's been some new update about a competitor's next generation, we've wrapped that up in a bow and sent it to China and said, please pay attention to this. Please pay attention to that. In other words, put this feature in this. So basically what's happened is these guys in Australia have said, hey, Silverado has a midgate. We need the midgate. Use the midgate. And they've gone, China have gone, yeah, okay, we'll put a midgate in this car. That's that's pretty cool. That's kind of the sort of thing that Tesla do when someone asks for something. That's for a new over the air feature or update. And Tesla's like, yeah, okay, we'll do that. We are very much in regular contact about what the next pickup looks like. I'm expecting it to start to become a reality 
in mid to late 2024. I love this. This is probably my favorite new looking pickup truck design. I actually prefer the Cybertruck just because of the angle of the bed. I think having that angled bed gives you way more space in the bed and the bed is massive. But this to me just, it looks fantastic. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.